the river continues to fall, and the threat from the lions of the north comes closer. The mainless three, older and stronger than the two brothers. If they cross, they will kill the cubs in order to bring the females back into Estrus so they can start their own families. The cubs themselves seem blissfully unaware of the dangers. The more timid male cub has gained in confidence and is now giving his sister as good as he gets. They are practicing hunting and throttling moves. The two males are still roaring and marking the territory, occasionally. The cubs seem to court the two brothers, making all the effort to form a bond. Scientists think that only if males care enough will they lay down their lives for these cubs, and it takes tremendous courage from the cubs to cement that bond. For the little male, bonding with his father and uncle is equally vital, but he has another reason. Males only succeed as adults in coalitions, usually brothers, and he only has a sister. He faces a bleak future as a lone male. Even though his father can't help forge a future coalition, the cubs instinctively drawn to the older male as his only option. The bereaved mother is flirting. Scientists think that lionesses feel the loss of cubs deeply, remembering it all their lives but they also need to mate again, as quickly as possible. The Luangwa River continues to fall. For a female in estrus, and for a lone male cub, time is running out, as the threat looms from the opposite bank. 